This is the study you are talking about, the effects of resistance training performed to failure or not to failure on muscle strength, hypertrophy, and power output, a systematic review with meta-analysis. 13 studies were included in this review, and the results are as follows. Greater strength increases were observed in the groups that did not train to failure. However, resistance training groups who performed reps to failure actually saw greater muscle hypertrophy. That means you're right, right? Actually, it doesn't. When training volumes were equated between groups, they found that training to failure actually showed no improvements on hypertrophy versus versus those who did not train to failure. What this essentially means is when you're still performing the same number of reps and sets, non-failure training gives you equal hypertrophy results to failure training. Failure training is only superior when you're doing more volume, pointing to the known idea that volume is important for muscle growth. Anyway, the very evidence that you presented to support your claim that training to failure is superior for hypertrophy actually says the opposite. For more sense and not nonsense, follow Johnny Reps Fitness.